Hello, and this is the scene here in the northeast of England. We find ourselves at the Stadium of Light today. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson and all about action from League One coming right up. It is Sunderland and they face Lincoln City. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the cross is very much on. Liam Bridcut. This looks interesting. Excellent challenge. And options in the centre. Promising possession, this. And still danger here. Well, they survived the attack. Edun. Sorensen. Adetayo Edun. Paul. Hopper. Now, what can they do from here? Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Big chance! Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And a short corner, let's see. Taking care of business defensively here. Shot attempted. Terrific block. It's got to be! Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Going short. Jackson. Will it happen for them? It looks promising. Cutting the ball back. A goal! 1-0! A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. He continues his run. Oh, maybe the equaliser. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Perfect example of how to execute a slide tackle. McGeady. 
Now, let's see what they can do here. Takes on the shots. Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that. Well, here it is again. And wow, just take a look at this. He's absolutely nailed this one. What a strike that is from distance. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Might be able to produce from this position. Well, the visitors, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. He's going forward well here. Low-driven ball. It could be up for grabs. And there it is! An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, here it is again. And I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Where are his defenders following in? It's the attackers that get there first, and it's a very good finish. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Liam Britcutt. Sorensen. Nice looking pass. Edun. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Liam Britcutt. This looks interesting. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, here's the goal again. And you have to say the patience of the passing is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. That is that for the first half here. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Pool. Options in the centre. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Liam Britcutt, Hopper, can they convert? And he read it really well, fine save. They favoured a short one here. Well, possession seeded. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? 
Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space and his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. It's a weighted pass. Terrific block. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Number eight, Elliot Emerson, to be replaced by number 21, Alex Pritchard. And now the delivery. And it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. But from a defensive point of view, it's not good enough. They stop marking in the box and don't close the scorer down. That's just poor defending. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Well, it's been difficult for Sunderland to get too much of the ball so far, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Paul Bridka and possibilities here chance to reduce the arrears he's got to score and a goal he's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Well, how about this? 4-3. Gooch. Evans. Now with McGeady. Chance to do damage. How about the cross? O'Neill. Can he finish this? Still alive. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. On the cusp of the final whistle, and they're making home advantage count, but only just. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, what a game this has been. Some of their attacking play has been absolutely brilliant, and there's been some great individual performances as well. But they've been far too open to the counter-attack, and that's why they're still clinging on here. Well, they are to intercept. Gooch chance to attack using width and teammates to play it to no real challenge for the goalkeeper and so into the final five minutes and that'll end up being the keeper's ball Alex Pritchard 
And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Corey Evans. Now with McGeady. Oh, breezing past him. Crossed into the penalty area. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.